Essex, the Weather Authority, meteorologist Francis Payton. Well, good afternoon. We're looking at some hazy skies from our sky tracker out at the Diamond. And high temp or excuse me, our temperatures currently are in the upper 80s. We have 87 in the Richmond area. Our winds continuing to move in from the southwest. We're also seeing some wind gusts about 20 miles per hour. But more importantly to note are those dew point temperatures currently sitting at 67 in the Richmond area. That is some humid air, almost tropical air, and we'll continue to deal with this tropical air mass as we have our winds continue to move in from the southwest. So here you have everyone in the mid to even, I would say almost the upper 60s for today with those dew point temperatures, and that's where they're actually going to stay. And as we do have that added humidity, it is going to feel a touch warmer than the actual temperature outside. So it actually feels like we're at 90 right now in the Richmond area as well as West Point. However, our high temperatures today, we will hit around the low 90s this afternoon. It's going to be our first 90 degree day of the 2020 year, and it's going to be a hot 90 degree day. As far as conditions go, we're looking at dry conditions for the most part today. I wouldn't rule out an isolated shower north of Interstate 64, but our main thing that we're looking at is just this high pressure system. It's pretty much staying settled there throughout the rest of this week, which means you can expect hot and humid conditions for the remainder of this week as that high pressure system stays off the coast of the Carolinas. But one thing that we are tracking is this low pressure system currently over uh, excuse me, Nebraska. Watching this actually move in the easterly direction, we are, do have the chance of seeing a few storms tomorrow late afternoon as well as the early evening. As far as the severe weather threat goes with that low, we are just seeing a one out of five. So we're in the marginal threat for severe weather tomorrow. Looking at damaging wind gusts being the greatest threat to the area, but I also wouldn't rule out some localized flooding as we can expect precipitation rates to be pretty heavy, about an inch to even an inch and a half per hour. But looking at the rest of today, looking at pretty much a dry day, just some hazy clouds here and there. Cloud cover starts to build in within the later afternoon on Thursday. There you have it, Thursday at 5 o'clock near the evening hours. We're looking at the chance of seeing some isolated storms throughout actually the dinner time hours. What are about a few light showers within the overnight hours? We expect to see, however, that stormy action when the sun is still up as we head into Friday, a dry start to Friday, and then we still have that instability within our atmosphere. So wouldn't once again rule out a couple isolated storms Friday near the lunchtime hours as well as at late afternoon and early evening. So Friday is going to be probably the wettest day of this week. But temperature wise, we're still seeing those temperatures in the 90s. So three, actually almost four straight days of 90s. So Friday, as it is going to be rainier, likely could see those temperatures staying in the upper 80s for some locations. But starting off the weekend, we have those highs once again in the low 90s. We have a cold front that moves across the area on Saturday. Dry air is going to move into the region. But speaking of all the tropical air that we're dealing with, we have Tropical Storm Cristobal. It's currently off the coast of the Yucatan Peninsula, something that we'll be watching as we get closer to the weekend as it'll likely make landfall. But as the end of the weekend, it's going to be quite pleasant.